Okay, guys, we have just talked about uh, the different intrinsic conduction system of heart and how the rhythm of heart actually generated. And we have also talked about that that rhythm of heart is very important to make the region of heart contract and relax with different time. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about the ECG graph, or which is going to telling us the electrical graph of heart when it is in rhythmic form <coughs> or the rhythm of heart. So it's actually the print printing or print of how heart is beating actually. So and we also talked about that when the heart is getting the rhythm, it's getting contracted and relaxed. That particular time it's a different of conversion between electrical signal into the mechanical signal. Because electrical signal generates as a result of that Mechanically, the region of heart contracts or relaxes. Okay. <clears throat> now, in this uh, picture of ECG or electrocardiograph, which is a way of printing the rhythm of heart, we are going to find the different sections. And in completely separate video, we'll be telling and that how to read ECG graph and everything. But in this video, I am just focusing on how to describe this particular phenomenon or how to get this curve because the intensity of the graph that we can see here the intensity of the this this means the intensity of the sound that we hear when you put the ECG actually the intensity of the rhythm that we get or actually not actually sound because when we measure the ECG it's actually electrodes are setting and it is measuring the the membrane potential of our body now what is membrane potential membrane potential uh, to find that you can see my video i'm not going to talk about in this video but uh, membrane potential can change in two different ways one is polarization another one is depolarization now what do we mean by those i'm just going to tell you uh, in very briefly that let's say if this is the cell membrane normally cell membrane is negatively charged and inside the cell this is negatively charged suppose this is the condition now normally when the cell or inside the cell becomes highly negatively charged due to some reason highly negatively charged from normal say if, let's say if this is the normal situation it becomes highly negative in this case we call this phenomena as polarization and and this change in the charge and variance is only uh, due to the due to the change in uh, uh, closing and opening of ion channels that are present in the membrane it's completely nothing but uh, the play of ion channels that are present in this cell membrane the channels like sodium potassium channel sodium channel and other ionic channels that usually close and open up due to change of this <coughs> physical course now when the internal uh, charge of the cell slightly becomes less negative remind you they become slightly less negative so if i reverse it back to this condition it slightly become less negative then we call it a depolarization so internal cell uh, internal of the cell is getting slightly negative polarization inside the cell slightly less negative depolarization so it is it is it will be called as depolar polarization is slightly less negative and this is slightly up negative this is this is the major situation now if you understand this concept it will be very easy to look at it and telling what is going on now in this case whenever we get a rise in the graph it is telling us that that the particular membrane potential is kind of high and whenever you're saying falling it means it's depolarization so up polarization then depolarization okay so the fluctuations will be going on and what we can measure from here is so so let's find it out so if we look at here the the different parts and so <coughs> okay so actually when you look at this graph what we can find that whenever the this graph is showing up that means we are actually measuring the intensity that we can see 
in uh, in case in outside so if if it is getting up it suggests us a depolarization and it is going down it is suggesting us a polarization so if you look at here in this image here it is a slight up <coughs> that means it's a depolarization and here this is a peak and we put the name for this peak as a p value <coughs> peak number p then a depolarization but this depolarization normally if i draw if i start drawing a baseline so actually this is the thing this is the baseline actually and what we can find here in this baseline that in this baseline when we are looking at here it is going up and definitely it will come down so when it is coming down it is a polarization up depolarization so if we look at here this is up so polarization here then <coughs> this polarization is due to atrial polarization atrial depolarization this stands for actually p then what we find here is this one which is q then this one r this one s so what we find p q r s and finally so this q r s so what we can see here this q and r it's a sudden change so we call it a, a ventricular depolarization and it is telling uh, it is told us by this q and r <coughs> sorry this complete set that this q r and s is telling us the ventricular depolarization because again it's up again it's up so it's a depolarization right so ventricular depolarization and the last one is this one which is called t <coughs> it is by <coughs> ventricular polarization because okay so what we can see here three different stages so actually the fluctuation of heart a fluctuation of this polarization or fluctuation of membrane potential whatever we are getting whether it is a up or down whatever but the, any fluctuation of the of uh, those uh, membrane potential can be depicted as a peak any kind of fluctuation it may be down it may be up whatever now what we find in the first case the p it is telling us the actual depolarization of arteries and we call it peak number p now when we get the ventricular depolarization we get is qrs and whenever we getting ventricular polarization the peak is given by this t remind you one thing is missing here that is the arterial polarization right because it, we are having arterial uh, atrial depolarization but no atrial polarization why because the atrial polarization is kind of overtaken by the ventricular depolarization which is qrs so due to the presence of this qrs which is a high change the atrial polarization actually not been seen but that is actually not uh, that is happening all the time but due to this qrs we won't get it pretty clearly so that's why we get this kind of graph so whenever you see a normal ecg graph you are going to find these three important regions one is for the p one is for qrs another one is for the t p is for atrial depolarization qrs is for ventricular depolarization and t is for the ventricular uh, polarization so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you